ever been angry at God? If I asked you who was the first martyr in the Bible, you would probably say Stephen. But if I asked you who was the second martyr in the Bible, that one's a bit tricky. But in Acts chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, we learn that James was the second martyr in the Bible. He was executed by Herod. Now, James was the brother of John. He is one of the brothers, or those two brothers, are the brothers that Jesus named the Sons of Thunder. And they were in Jesus' inner circle. You heard the phrase Peter, James, John? Well, our martyr that we're talking about is the James. And Jesus named them Sons of Thunder because they were loud. They were eccentric. They were outspoken. These were the brothers that said, Lord, shall we call down fire like Elijah did and consume them? And Jesus had to say, boys, you don't know what spirit you're of. These are the two brothers that said, Lord, let us sit with you in the kingdom on the throne. And Jesus again had to say, you don't know what you're asking. They were sons of thunder, outspoken, brash. In Acts chapter 12, James is executed. But my focus here is not so much on James, but his brother John. Because his brother John is never spoken of again in the rest of the book of Acts. We never hear of him. He's gone. We never hear of him until we read the Gospel of John, the Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. And that's an amazing thing because in the Epistles of John, for example, we hear uh, John writes, What amazing love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God. And he says things like, this is how we know we've passed from death to life when we love our brothers. Doesn't sound like a son of thunder there, does he? So how did he get from sons of thunder to this loving disciple whom Jesus loved? It seems to be that after his brother was beheaded, because we never hear of him again, I would say John withdrew himself. And instead of being angry with God, he ran into God and became this beautiful, soft person who wrote those amazing scriptures. Like John chapter 1, to those who believe in him, he gave the right to be called the children of God. The law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Of his fullness have we all received grace heaped on top of grace. Amazing stuff. We get the benefit of his revelation today. But how did he get it? Instead of being angry with God at the execution of his brother, he ran into God. And that's where he found the true God, Father. He found Father. He found the God to abide in. He found the God <clears throat> who loved him. That's why he could call himself, when he wrote late, many years later, he called himself the disciple whom Jesus loved. So it looks like he didn't get angry with God when his older brother was executed. Rather the opposite, he ran into God. And that's why one of the last scriptures he writes, he writes, I, John, fell down and worshipped. So you might be angry with God today, but there is an answer. And I know there is a process that there's that initial anger when God seems to not intervene. 
And there's that initial anger. God knows that. But the right response is that we run to him in our anger. And he'll soften us. He'll change us. He'll make sense of it all. Look at John with those amazing writings. Made sense of life. That in the end caused him to be a worshipper. Not a bitter, twisted, angry old man.